How do you build and fly a supersonic rocket? Today we're going to take a look at how I built and flew. First, we'll 3D print some parts. Here's some of the parts I made. Next, I got some centering rings laser cut out of plywood. Next, I assembled the motor mount. It consists of two centering rings, a motor tube, and some shock cord attached to it all. Next, I attached the fins. These fins are special. The special part is they go through the wall and attach to the motor mount. Next, I did large fillets on the fins. These fillets are necessary since the motor that I will use in this rocket is notorious for destroying people's rockets. Next, I sanded off some jagged pieces on the fillets with a Dremel. This is pretty much purely for aesthetic purposes. Next, I painted the fin can white. Next, I painted some blue stripes on the fins, then painted another portion of the rocket blue. Next, I added a tail cone. This generally reduces drag, but honestly, in this rocket, it probably didn't reduce drag very much. And here's the finished product. For the avionics bay, it consisted of a camera and a flight computer. Finally, it's now time to launch the rocket. I flew the rocket on an Aerotech H550, so you'll see how fast this thing gets out of the launch pad. The Aerotech H550 burns for about half a second. Next, I just wanted to say how absolutely amazing this onboard footage is. But what I'll show you in the sec, there's a little bit of a catch of what we can see in the footage. Now what we can see now that the rocket gets to Apogee is the parachute pops out. But we'll notice the shock cord snaps as we can kind of see it recoil a bit. It turns out the shock cord I used wasn't quite up for the job. What ended up happening is the main rocket ended up falling from 3,000 feet, miraculously only breaking a fin, while the avionics nose cone ended up having a nice gentle ride all the way back down on a parachute. Next, taking a look at the flight data, we can see that the final altitude was about 915 meters. That's about 3,000 feet. Thanks for watching this episode of MRD Aerospace, and see you in the next.